not only happen on the field of play, but it also takes a lot uh, on what is done outside the field of outside the field of play. Uh, in today's discussion, we have a veteran administrator, someone who is well known across our football cycles in terms of writing, whether setting up uh, new structures to help aid the development in, in our sporting codes. Uh, we are here uh, to discuss with him the latest developments that are happening in Africa with regards to the World Football Summit that will be taking place in the next few weeks in South Africa to hear more on what that is and what what will be happening South Africa how did it come about <laughs> I actually wrote this story. I, yeah. I have a new book. Uh, it's called Bozora Football, A Fool's Paradise by a Father. Uh, my dad is the one who got me into football. And unfortunately, he left me in football. Uh. Uh, so I, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm, I call myself a captive of my own identity, a prisoner of my own uh, creation. Mm. So I'm, I'm where <laughs> I am because of, of him. And yeah. Uh, yeah, that's where the passion got me. Your, your father, I believe, uh, uh, the late Major David Bridewell, uh, his biography. Uh, Major is one of my fathers, my, uh, but this time I mean my biological father. Yes, yeah. uh, Major was also my, my father in, in the football spectrum. Yeah. And like you were saying, I just uh, finished writing his uh, uh, biography of the Major David Bright. Uh, the book is, is, is ready, it's with the printers now, so very soon it will be... Uh, uh, so to be sold wherever, and people will learn more about about Major David Bright. Yeah, uh, as an administrator, you have written two books: "Yengweke uh, Botswana Football: A Fool's Paradise," uh, the biography of Major David Bright. In, in your message, as you package uh, these these books, uh, what do you intend to achieve? They're actually for <laughs> Mr. Gallup. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's four books. Yeah. Uh, the first edition was called The Botswana Football, A Fool's Paradise. Mm. Uh, that book, actually, I wanted to write about my personal experience in the game mm. and actually guide people uh, in the football fraternity of my journey as an individual and how I actually yeah. perceive the game and, you know, guide the future generation in terms of the challenges that I've encountered, in terms of the landscape of our football, you know, talk about myself as a sport uh, uh, what challenges I actually encountered, you know, so that the upcoming generation could actually learn a lot uh, from the experiences that I've, 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 I've enjoyed and also, you know, avoid certain mistakes that I made as an individual. Mm -hmm. And then the mm -hmm. second book, which is uh, Botswana Football, A Fool's Paradise, Another Day in Paradise. I actually went in depth mm -hmm. to talk about uh, the administration of, of our football uh, in the country. Yeah. You know, I, you know uh, where we say we want to professionalize the game, tomorrow we don't do that. <laughs> I looked at the the, uh, the Premier League and I called it a Premier cul-de-sac, yeah. uh, where every <laughs> every now and again someone is elected, you yeah. know, is appointed as the CEO. Yeah. Who will think maybe we are starting a new journey <laughs> after six months or a, a six uh, you know, a year later the person is chunked out. Yeah. So it always looks like we want to start, but at the end of the day we always come back yeah. uh, to the same place because, like you know, a cul-de-sac, a cul-de-sac. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. you think that ah, this is a good time <laughs> only for you to come back we again and, and then start. Home. Yeah. yeah, and then. Uh, then uh, I went on to write about uh, my father, another, another, another book, Bozona Football, A Fool's Paradise, subtitled My Father. I wanted to paint a picture about my father initially to say uh, what role did he play in defining who I am? What role uh, did he play in uh, you know, getting me along in the game of football? And I also looked at various fathers in uh, Philemon Makwengwe and Major David Pride and Khape uh, Mohuziwa's father, late father. Mm. And there's one boy called uh, Kizu Ernest Nwaga. Mm. He's one boy whose parents... He's more popular right Yeah, his yeah. parents passed away at the age of six, both both parents. And, you know, and, and often like, like like that boy, and I actually took him under my, my own stress to his, his my, 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 my own football uh, 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 son. I'm, I'm mm. sorry I get him, which I don't want to talk about this boy. Yeah. And uh, I, I also spoke about one guy called uh, Rapula. You know, Rapula was a father in the game. Mm. And, uh, you know, he fathered the, the, the game. But uh, unfortunately, he passed away uh, during the COVID time. Mm. And, uh, you know, during his passing a uh, city, 
it was it was difficult because he was uh, he was accused of uh, misappropriation of funds by the by the BFA. Mm -hmm. And uh, as I'm speaking to you now, that issue has been you know shoved under the racket, and you know people still don't know what actually transpired. There was a back and forth of that issue. And uh, as I'm speaking to you now, mm -hmm. Rapula is resting wherever he's resting, but I don't think he's resting because he doesn't know what those people yeah. actually wanted yeah. from him. Yeah. And then the fourth book, like like you mentioned now. After my father, I actually have to write about Major David Brightman, yeah. the, the late Major. Yeah. Oh, what, what a great man, yeah. you know, a guy who was very funny. Mm. Uh, <laughs> and uh, some of the interviews that I did, uh, guys actually said, uh, you know, his philosophy was around the three Fs. Mm. I was like, Fs? You know, when someone <laughs> mentioned an F, you, you become <laughs> so scared. <laughs> yes, uh, they spoke of his fairness, mm. uh, his, his firmness mm. and his friendliness because mm. he said you need to be friendly but when it's time for you to do the work now you need to be a uh, very firm and at the end of the day you need to give everyone a fair opportunity city and that book uh, my, my guy you know I actually had to put a full stop at some point because as I was doing the the book a lot of people actually were coming up to to say no we to need to be interviewed about about measures so we yeah. just put a full stop for now and uh, after this book now is is this documentary mm. so we did a lot of uh, video documentation during our our interviews so we're going to collate the, all, all those interviews and, and come up with a, with a documentary and I was like why sh why can't we have a documentary about our own. South mm. Africa did the Senso a documentary. Mm. And I was yeah. like, ah, we could do a better dose here than yeah. what these guys have, have actually done. Yeah. And what a way to start with mm. uh, Major David Bright. Yeah. At the end of the day, Ratola Sports, Ratola Kheladino, Memo Piano Reds and Amohotone, Okazi Yalore, Etabe Lemon Waba, we seek another panelist, Kako Devon Kokolong Hore, the first or the inaugural World Football Summit in Africa, Etabe Chorsit, Etabe Lemon Waba, Bedi Balon Hore, Vatle Batama Satone, the Puis and Ato. One thousand two hundred delegates are expected to be there. Some of them, Etabe Lebalon Hore Bat or Kako. Maybe just to get into it, Reuben, what is World Football Summit? World Football Summit, it's an event, a city, a multi-event where football industry meets. You're saying all the, the stakeholders who are part of uh, the game, they meet there. And uh, these people actually uh, come together to define the future of the game. Mm. So I'll be part and parcel of, of that uh, in, in defining uh, the future of uh, football in Botswana or in Africa uh, as a whole. Uh, we'll be doing a topic uh, under new strategies uh, to generate uh, income, country to generate revenues uh, in Africa mm. using a uh, telecoming. Mm. How do you work to monetize uh, the, the, the game uh, at this present moment? The, the financial or the business side of, of, of football in Africa? What is the current situation? Uh, we'll, we'll actually be looking at the, at the mobile technology, how we can actually harness the mobile technology uh, to monetize football. And you know how, how excited we are. A lot of teams have uh, their Facebook uh, pages, they have their Twitter, they have their, their Instagram. And actually saying, you know, at the back of that, what are they using? All mm. those platforms, they actually sit in the mobile technology. And mobile technology, you are tweaking your 3G, your 4G, your 5G. And uh, when you look at the, the statistics uh, by Statista.com, uh, uh, they've said in Africa, internet uh, penetration, or you know, people were actually online the 43% uh, percent, you know out of the 1.2 billion people that we have in Africa so it says you know we have a lot in terms of you know taking advantage of uh, of that of that landscape or mm. take advantage of of that number and they also go on to say that uh, between uh, North Africa and South Africa or Southern Africa you know there are a lot of people actually online for most of the time yeah uh, you're also the chairman of Botswana Football League Transformation uh, Transformation uh, Technical Committee. You also look at your own background. Uh, how, how can we benefit as, as the country from this from this summit? Very important. Sit. When you talk uh, transformation, you're actually saying, I'm changing a butterfly into an elephant. Or I'm changing an elephant into a butterfly. 
unfathomable. Mm. And uh, you know, when you look at the football summit now, talking about monetizing, uh, you know, monetizing the, the, the football space and then uh, monetizing mobile technology, you know, that's part of transformation. So he says, most of the stuff that I'm going to learn there, as we define the future, that is us actually talking to Botswana and making sure that uh, Botswana football will benefit a lot in terms of the, the transformation uh, going forward. This is very important for, for, for Botswana. And I, I only hope whatever that I'll be amassing uh, from, the, from the convention or from the summit will actually help uh, the game in Botswana. Uh, this is going to be also a networking exercise. Hori, hongo mo elo ena tabo le mo tama isedi kuisa nyo kike ba heba ba mobile longo re hongo mo thoka ba solo hela ele mo tsa na abata ho level la mama ranya nengana abata ho na ho ika tumesa kako deben ha ho bana ho ri tsa maisha tsa ho nzija. The the football summit is actually available online, uh, Mr. Kiyakwa. People are able to go, you know, linked in uh, Facebook everywhere, and the 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 proceedings will be will be done uh, online. And, uh, you know, there are a lot of people, President of SAFA, President of Zambia, like all the federations in Africa. And the, the panel that I'll be... Yeah, uh, Denis Jordan and... and Denis Jordan is there uh, by my, my uncle and uh, Jomo Sonu yeah. <laughs> <laughs> will also be there. Uh, Mark Magab will also be there. You the know, football agent. Yeah, like football agents will also be the Authors will also be the The marketers of the game, you know. The, the leaders in, in technology about the game, where you, you, you learn about uh, different technologies that are used for uh, performance analysis, you know, data analysis. Mm. All these players will actually be there. So there's a lot that we're going to learn. And uh, you know, I want to believe that during the networking uh, sessions, I'll be able to talk to a few people and try to sell the Botswana game to them because I want to believe the government has actually done a lot in supporting the mobile technology in our country. Yeah. Because when you look at it above in it now, they have uh, you know, connected uh, about uh, 196, uh, 206 villages actually with fire in Botswana. Yeah. So it says uh, in accommodating the mobile technology going forward, your, your 4Gs or 5Gs will be able to use uh, uh, that anywhere and wherever we are. <laughs> Interesting that you, you mentioned the, 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 the internet space there. Kiri Malakori, it's, 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 it's a topic for another a, a, a day to be discussed with regards to, to the race involved there. But a few minutes ago, you, you spoke about a cul de sac. We're going for the summit. It's very interesting. We're looking forward to it. But Rahui, Tuta Holekai, Mohoyone, Mibile Rahuanahotza. Not only in Botswana, but even in other African countries. Uh, there's a lot that we are going to learn, Sid. You know, the, the biggest problem that we have as Africans is actually invasion of new terrain, or actually, you know, doing something that is new. Uh, when we try something that is new, people will say, no, he's lying. But when you do something that has always been done, they'll be like, no, he's copying from someone. Yeah. You know, it doesn't sit well with us. So... When you, when you transform, like I say, it's changing a butterfly into an elephant. You know, you leave no stone and tent, and no one should actually deter you. You need to say, this thing will work. You know, I, I remember Thabo at some point, he said, uh, allow me to air now. And this is what we need to, to do as, as Africans and as, as people in the game to say, let us air now so that we learn from our mistakes. Without actually experimenting all these things, we won't learn. Our football will, will regress. And when you look at the, the whole the world, they've actually moved 20 years away from when we are while we keep going back so now from the summit all the topics all the lessons that we have learned we need to put them into practice so that we take our football to the next level you're talking about the gap that uh, other uh, other continents have opened up on us Africa maybe in terms of advancing the game as, as I understand that world uh, uh, football summit Africa uh, guys uh, in other countries or in other continents uh, mr Gawaga, the receptive of, of Africa they have seen a lot of potential in Africa and they're actually worried why Africa is, is lagging behind because when you look at players who are actually exported from Africa great talent and uh, they want to develop uh, the game uh, in, in Africa and uh, you know when you talk to them when you have conversations with them they're always excited about helping Africa and uh, you know I, I just want to believe that with that reception that we get from uh, our the other guys uh, from other continents and platforms like the the summit it means that Africa will be able to grow and will be able to learn from these guys 
uh, when you look at uh, the the BFL now, they they had uh, UEFA assist the program. It yeah. says you know UEFA came to the fore to help uh, the, to transit the, 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 the local game mm -hmm. from the mm -hmm. amateur mm -hmm. level to professional level. So mm -hmm. there are always avenues that we, should, we could actually explore in order uh, to, to benefit our game. Mm -hmm. The biggest the question is how receptive and how welcoming are we to these uh, new ideas? You know, because we are scared of change. We mm -hmm. don't want to be challenged of something that we don't know. We don't want to learn uh, new trades. But the moment we sit down, you know, with intentional minds, and we, with, with clear deliberations that we want to learn and we want to better the game and actually be receptive of this education and say, this is the future and this is what we need to be part of. You know, we'll, we'll be able to go a, a long way as African football. Uh, quickly, uh, uh, when are, uh, uh, we are running out of time, we have to go to the Transformation Technical uh, Committee of the Football Association. We have to go to the I understand uh, some of them, amongst them, uh, VTM Chairman uh, Vincent Mahuta. We have to go to the Transformation Technical Committee of the Football Association. We have to go to the Transformation Technical Committee of the Football Just under 30 seconds. Yes. Uh, in engagement with the World Football Summit uh, organizers, I had actually organized 37 uh, people to go out there for free as, as part of the delegates. And uh, the likes of Mafuta, they've actually taken advantage of that. And the other guys, I know the Galaxy guys are also coming to the fore. Mm -hmm. So, you know, them uh, interacting with these guys and networking with them, it's good for the game. They're going to learn a lot. And when they come back, I want to believe the game will be better. Thank you, sir. Football League Technical Committee uh, Transformation at Talosa We want to professionalize our league. Uh, Onzo ona le rona.